Hey guys, we're going to be covering um, rationalization of thirds in this session. Uh, the whole point of rationalization is so that we don't leave a square root number in the denominator uh, or in the bottom line. Now the whole process is called rational rationalizing the denominator. Uh, we're going to have a look at a couple of quick examples. It's a fairly straightforward idea and once you get the hang of it, you should be fine. So let's, get, let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay, here are three uh, expressions that I'd like to rationalize. So the first one is 3 over square root of 5. We've got 2 over 3 times square root of 7. And finally, 8 divided by square root of 32. So I'm going to start with the far left-hand one here, the one with 3 divided by square root of 5. Now obviously, the, if I want to make the denominator a, a whole number instead of, um, instead of having it as a third, I need to actually multiply multiply this fraction by square root of 5 divided by square root of 5 because we know that square root of 5 divided by square root of 5 is actually 1. Now what this does is, is in the numerator you would have your 3 times square root of 5 which would be 3 square root of 5 but the denominator is no longer a third because square root of 5 times square root of 5 is actually positive 5 and that's it. That's the whole point of rationalizing an expression. So if you look at the middle example, I have 2 divided by 3 times square root of 7. So I'm going to be multiplying it by square root of 7 divided by square root of 7. So if I multiply the two numerators together, I will get 2 square root of 7. And in the denominators here, I would get 3 multiplied by 7. Uh, and to simplify it further, I would simply have 2 square root of 7 divided by 21. And once again, there is there are no um, square root symbols in the denominator. Now having a look at the final example here, 8 divided by square root of 32. I can simplify square root of 32, so I might actually do that first. So I know that 8, uh, sorry, square root of 32 could be written as 16 times 2, which in fact is 8 divided by square root of 16 times square root of 2. And square root of 16 is 4. So I'm left with 8 divided by 4 times square root of 2. 8 divided by 4 is simply 2. I've got 2 divided by square root of 2. So you see I've got that um, little bit extra step that I need to do here before I can rationalize. Or I could have done it the other way where I multiply uh, the first right at the beginning. I could have multiplied it by square root of 32 divided by square root of 32. But it's just, I mean, then you have to go back and simplify again. So it's just the same old process. So this step here. I multiply the numerator by square root of 2, the denominator by square root of 2, and I end up with 2 times root 2 divided by 2, which in fact simplifies to just simply square root of 2. All right, folks, that's basically all that we're going to cover in this session because um, that's what rationalizing expressions mean. Okay, thank you for watching.